Hi, I'm Betsy Poos. Let's stretch together. Have a seat. Stretch your legs out straight in front of you. Flex your feet. Point your toes and your knees straight up towards the sky. Sit up as tall as you can, rather whether you're sitting flat on the ground or you could slide a blanket or a little bit of height underneath your bum to make it easier to sit up tall. Stretch both arms out to the side and then bend your knees a little bit. And now sit up even taller, pull your belly, your chest slightly in towards your thighs. Take a nice breath, let it go. Take the hands behind your head here. Fingers don't have to interlace. Just slightly lean your head back into your hands like they're a pillow to lay into. Good. Keep doing this and twist. Twist in one direction. Feel the twist come from the belly button all the way up towards your shoulders. Top of the head. Inhale, come back to the center and twist in the second direction. Keep breathing. And come back to the middle. Extend the arms out wide again and lift the chest even higher. Pull yourself slightly forward. Can you hold on to the outside of your feet? and then still pull your chest through into your legs. Nice breath in, complete breath out. Okay, let's change it up. Soles of the feet together. Point the knees out towards either direction. Take your hands behind you, press down into the fingers to lift your seat off of the ground and shift yourself slightly closer to your heels. So wherever you started, you get just a little bit closer. Okay, let's hold on to our toes again, press into the feet and extend the knees out in either direction. So you don't have to think about the legs coming down towards the floor, but instead expanding out to the sides. Move your chest around, your upper body around like a mixing bowl here. No wrong way to do this. Go in one direction a few times. Maybe get the hands into the mixing with you. Go in the opposite direction. And then stop back into the center. Keep your right foot where it is and take the left foot out to the side. Turn the chest so that it's looking back over the left leg. Still, flex the foot and point the toes up towards the sky. All right, let's take our right hand up and try to reach towards the foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhale, lift back up and take the hand behind your back. Both soles of the feet in, switch sides. Extend the right leg out. Hands on either side of the extended leg, so you make a twist again in the torso to look over. And then take the left hand high and reach towards your extended leg. Enjoy a few rounds of breath here. Come all the way back up and lower the hand. Bring both the soles of the feet in. One more time, hands behind your back, lift your seat, scoot a little bit more in. Press the feet strong in towards each other and extend the knees out. Keep the hands behind your back, maybe even a little further back so that you can lean into the hands but lift the chest. Okay, come back to neutral. Hold on to the outside of your knees and pull back in. Extend the legs straight out in front of you. Good old fashioned seated forward fold. To do this, first lift the arms up and get all that reach. Good amount of length from the hips up into the armpits. 
And then from the armpits all the way up to our fingertips. Okay, imagine keeping all of that length, but you can drop the hands down, bend the knees a tiny bit, and just walk it, walk it forward until you're folding over the legs. I get a lot of folks that say, Betsy, you teach great yoga classes. Can you also just do a stretch class? Well, here you go. A little bit of seated stretching. Okay, come all the way up. Mm -hmm. Come over to all fours for a moment and step your right foot through. Come up hands to the thighs and let your hips move a little bit down and forward here. Arms out to the front, palms open, just big and wide here. Lower the hands down either side of the front foot and then right leg straight, flex the foot, pull the toes, back so that they look straight up towards the sky. Try to keep your hips square here. You can bend at the elbows and fold over depending on your range. This is a nice steady stretch down the hamstring. We'll come back forward to the lunge. Lift up one more time, open across the chest for good measure. Lower the hands, make your way over to the other side. So through all fours, nothing fancy here. Just step the other foot forward, come up, hands to the front thigh. Squeeze the back knee in, the front heel back. Keeping that, lower the hips. We want front knee today to go over the line of the ankle, not past. Certainly not wrong to go past, depending on the setup, but for today, this is where we are. After a couple of breaths, open here in the chest, lower the hands down, stretch the left leg, straight, flex the foot, again, toes up. Now bring the hands all the way down as a far reach. Keep the hands up here on the hips and hinge forward. Great control and strength in the belly if you're doing that as well. And then we'll go back to where we started from. Bend the knee right over the line of the ankle. Bring the torso upright. Open up through the chest. Take a breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Okay, come back around to all fours. Sit back on your heels. Interlace the hands, flip the palms, and stretch the arms up to the sky. I like to put in just this extra bit of opening and upper back work, even as we work into lower body, legs, stretching it all out today. And then release the hands. Okay, so I'm gonna lean over towards the right side to extend the left leg back out in front and either is continuing to sit on the right heel or sitting just over to the side. Palms together, lift the chest. And I do this palms together like thumbs into my sternum just so I have a good point of reference to lift up higher into. This is a lot, fully closed knee joint here, heel close into the hip. Let the thigh point straight ahead towards the top edge of your yoga mat if you're lying on one. So either stop there or take the hands back behind you, bend the elbows and start to deepen the quad stretch. If it works for you, go further down to the forearms. Oh, we'll see if I can get there today, okay. Stay really active in the legs though so that this all feels good. And certainly you can be more lifted if that's your place. Most days I do stay upright. Oh, giving it a little extra today. Okay, come up. So before you come off of this leg, I want you to lean the weight away and stretch the legs straight. 
to get into the other side, since our legs are already straight, we can just lean over, lift up the left leg, kick the heel in towards your seat, and then you already have this fully closed knee joint. You want to keep that to set the top of your foot down and come again to either sit on the heel, it's totally good, or shift your weight just to the side so that you're sitting on the ground. It might feel a little bit lopsided. I just use my hands to help with that. So I'm like kind of pushing up and lifting there on the right side right now. And again, if it's free, hands here and lift. Stay with this or you can walk further back. This side, this is plenty for me. If you're going further down to the forearms, so I'll try to keep the hips and shoulders square to the front. Carefully come back upright. Take all the weight over to the side again so that you have free extension of the opposite leg. Pedal out through the legs, swish wash side to side like windshield wipers. And then sit crisscross applesauce, palms up along your thighs. Mm, taking a breath. I hope this few moments of seated practice and stretch felt nice to you today. Namaste. See you again soon.